Welcome to the Chaitanya Chart Amrita sharing. So, if somebody of you is inclined to share something on this topic, please, anytime, just say what is in your heart and consequently then also on your mind. We are still reading verse number five of Shikshashtakam. The eight verses actually which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left for us, which for me are just the wonderful describing of the nectar of Krishna's name through the feelings of Radharani. And, of course, there are also other aspects inside. There is also kinkery bath inside. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also sometimes is trying to feel what a mandri or a kinkari is feeling. Because this is the highest nectar. And even Krishna wants to taste that. But even Radharani sometimes is interested to get this sight, this view. So, verse number five, still here. Ainanda tanucha kinkaram patitamam vishame bhavam buddhau kripaya tava pata pankaja stita dulisa trisham vichintaya. O son of Maharajananda, Krishna, I have fallen into a terrible ocean of material existence. Please consider me to be a speck of dust attached to your lotus feet. So, last time we heard already about this verse and actually last time I wasn't here. I don't know what you heard last time, <laughs> the time before that actually. So, we heard about Ainanda Tanuja and uh, we heard that Ai, actually the syllable, refers that this is not coming out of the mouth of a male. It's coming out of the mouth of a female. Because ai, this syllable, if you start like this, ai, nanda tanuja, that means you have to be a female. Otherwise, you would say something like Aho or something in this, but not Ai. This is an interesting point because this gives a link that rather this is said in the mood of Radharani or maybe in the mood of a Mandari. We can see it in different perspectives. What would we say? We would not address Nanda Tanuja, right? <laughs> we would address our Swamini and would lament to her lotus feet. 
But if you want to give a good example from the point of sadaka, could also lament like that. So again and again, the Lord carefully listened to the stories about Truva and Prahlad. This is also what we heard. I just want to give some remembrance for the red line. We heard about the thoughts of Radharani. I am also stopped from serving Krishna in so many ways, she thinks, by my mother-in-law, by my sister-in-law, by local traditions, by family traditions, in the house and in the forest. And I have to conquer those obstacles. So Radharani was thinking about her own obstacles to serve her beloved. And this is the main mood in which this verse actually is spoken from Radharani's side. In this way, we can understand the first word of this verse. Mahaprabhu accept the moods of a neophyte devotee in the mood of Sri Radha, saying, Ayi, son of Mararajnanda. So then we heard about the Bhagavad Gita verse, Janma Karma Chamedivyam. Which is actually a very nice link for us to give us some hope. Because it is saying, anyone who knows the truth about my divine birth, Krishna is talking to Arjuna, Everyone who knows the truth about my divine birth and activities will not take birth again in the material world, but he will attain me. So if we hear that Krishna is so kind and merciful, that he is telling Arjuna, whoever knows the truth about my birth and the activities, what does it mean actually? Who knows my real nature, my loving nature actually? This is a hint who don't see me as God. A person who is not seeing me as God, but who really wants to have a relationship out of love with me. He will come to me. So what to speak about Radharani? She is even more merciful. So if we just keep on, just keep on begging and begging and praying and praying again and again, please, Radharani, I am your eternal servant. I am Manjari such and such. And we meditate on this again and again. Of course we will reach that goal after leaving this material body. Even Krishna is promising here for his devotees. So what to speak of that person who knows the real nature of Krishna running behind Radha? What to speak of that person? So 
So Krishna is promising, whoever knows the real truth about my birth and activities will not take birth again in the material world, but he will attain me. So what about the person who really knows his heart because of the mercy of Radha? What about the person who is taking shelter by Radharani's lotus feet, getting the mercy of her, Karuna Mai, and she will give us the feelings and the knowledge. Who is this Krishna really? So anyone who knows the truth about that, we can underline three times at least, will for sure come to her lotus feet and serve Krishna through her love, which is the most possible pure service of love. So this gives hope, at least for me. I want to read this again and again because then I can understand if even Krishna is giving such a mercy, what to speak of Radharani? So please, my dear sisters, help me that I will remain at your lotus feet in your association so that we will reach together our goal come to the lotus feet of Radha. So we heard about Anan, uh, Ayi Nanda Tanuja. And we also heard last time about Samsara Dukkha, Chaladho, Patitashya Kama, Chaitanya Charit Amitra 54. O Sri Chaitanya Chandra, I have fallen into the ocean of material miseries where I am swallowed by the crocodiles and sharks of lust and anger and bound by the chains of wicked desires. This is describing actually our position in bodily consciousness. And now we have the solution. Just stick on the lotus feet of our Swamini and pray to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then we will come out here. So we heard about the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in different stories. And there's another hint we also heard about what to do in the sadak, how to stick on the lotus feet of Radharani. Because often this question is coming, actually, I hear it so many times, again and again. But what to do now? I'm now in this body, what can I do? Yes, it's nice to think about Radharani and that we serve, but, but now I'm here, I have to work, I have to do my daily shadal. And here's a wonderful hint also in this a verse given by Anandadas Babaji. 
he is actually quoting a verse, Kama Karota Lopa I will engage lust, anger, greed, illusion, envy, and pride, all in Krishna's service. That's wonderful. If we have lust, anger, greed, all this, we can take it actually and offer it. We can bring it there. We can serve with that. But how to do that? I have one example of my own life. My father was driving a Mercedes-Benz. So I also wanted to have one, one day. When I was 18 and I had this life driving license, I was dreaming about this car. But with 23, I came into Krishna consciousness. And till that time, I didn't have it. Still, the wish was in the heart. And it was burning. So what to do? This is just lust, isn't it? I understood the philosophy, you should not touch such things, not good for your spiritual life. But then there was a chance. I earned good money with my art. And often I was asked, could you go to Frankfurt and pick up this and that, Swami? Then I thought, well, it would be nice if you would have a very nice car for them, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, of course, just for them, not for me, you know. <laughs> anyway. I used that car in the seva and Krishna allowed so. At that time I was in Krishna consciousness, so Krishna allowed, yes, get this car, pick up the Swamis, drive them here to the temple and back. So in this way, my last was actually engaged in some seva. We all know this is not the highest platform. But anyway, it's a beginning. And so in this way we can actually take all our shortcomings and somehow connect it with the mercy of Radharani. And it's not so complicated actually. Because Radharani is so merciful, even more merciful than this blue boy. So I will engage all my lusty desires. Also, of course, means something else. It was just the beginning platform I was talking about. All my lusty desires can be also something else means loba. I am very, very lusty to serve, actually, this Swamini. So from button up, uh, from down to up, we can engage all our feelings, actually. You cannot, or you, you may not distinguish in this point, actually, good or bad. If you connect it, it will become pure by the time. This is actually my own experience. By the time things change in a very nice way.
by the mercy of Radharani and the Dasis of Radharani. If we just render a little service. So otherwise, if we don't do like that, then we will have independent desires. And Prabhupada was giving a wonderful example for that. What is an independent desire? In the aeroplane, he was looking after some stewardess. Prabhupada was looking. And one of the personal servants of him actually was wondering, huh? why he is looking like this? And he was disturbed in the mind. So then he asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, you were looking after this woman? Why you did so? And Prabhupada was answering, it's not on that base you think, you know, it's not... <laughs> it's not the point which you would think first. You would like to enjoy that, that body. But I'm looking because it's such a beautiful thing which actually was created by Krishna. And then he explained, Maya means if you separate something from Krishna. So if you see it in the connection, no problem. Beauty was created and the most beautiful thing is love of Godhead. So Radharani is the most beautiful, the most elegant, the most soft, soft-hearted, the most beautiful, undescribable. So of course Prabhupada may be remembered to Radharani when he sees something very beautiful. His inclination is not to enjoy, because this is not the nature of such a person, a Mahabhagavat. He's just happy to be reminded. So Prabhupada made it very clear what you actually split from the Divine, actually, that is Maya. If you see it in the connection, it is never Maya. Because all beauty belongs to Krishna or to his love. All beauty is coming from Radharani. But, and this is written here, if you see it independent, then it will break up the path of devotion. Then it is called sin. So we heard about all these things and now we are coming to verse number 6. Nayanam galata shrudaraya vadanam gadgada rudaya gira pulakaye nichitang vapu gada tavanamakrahane bhavishyati. O Krishna, when will tears of love? stream from my eyes. When will my voice joke? When will my voice joke up? And when will my body be studded 
with ghost pimples of ecstasy. When I chant your holy name, So what is the view of a, of a kinkery when she hears this verse? I have to ask one. Radha Charan. What is the mood of a kinkery when they hear this verse? Radha, Radha. I just started to, uh, how to say, meditate on the verse of Ash uh, Shikshashtaka. For example, a few days I'm thinking how to be explain Nadhanam Nadjanam Nasundarim from the position of Srimati Radhika. Nasundarim from position of Srimati Radhika. This I don't understand. But I'm just starting. I thought about Ainam Natanuja Kinkaram. Yuga itam, Nimesha Nachak, Shusha Pravisha itam. Then, then, first meeting with Srimati Radhika is happened. It can be in different way. Radha gave her darshan. Or anyway, clearly show them, gave mercy to devotee. And after this meeting, separation coming. Soul won't be again and again. Main servant won't be with Shimati Radhika. Want to serve her. She attracted to her. But now in separation. Then these strong things. For me it's very far. But it's written in Vilap Kusumanjali. How Raghunadas Gasami on the bank of Radakunda, he feeling separation. Why? Because he knows Radha needs him as Manjari so much. Radha feeling separation for her. And for Kinkari, it's not terrible. Why is Shemati Radhika suffering from me? Why am I still here? Why am I not with her, not serving her, her needs? She has so many plans to make pleasure for Krishna. And she needs me. Why am I still here in this way? Radhe, Radhe. Wonderful. Usually it's not easy to, to share feelings actually because usually people who are in knowledge they would actually argue but he has written Kinkaram, but I also did one thing, I was also thinking, what if this Kinkaram would actually be Kinkarim? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a nice meditation, if you just change this word Kinkaram to Kinkarim. To whom it then refers and uh, in which connection it, it is then actually, it's very, very tasteful for me to meditate on that. And although we are very, very far, it is actually, at least I am very far, so it's a very nice meditation to come more close actually. Because usually all these verses they are said in a neutral way because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to actually collect all the souls and whatever they have, what kind of relationship they have, actually they should come. But in our case, many things could sound a little bit in another way. So it's a very nice inspiration from you, Radha Charan in this way.
And it's really like this, we can see all these wonderful prayers standing beside Radharani when she is actually praising the names, the holy name of the Lord. And like you did now, we can think further to the connection of us because the mercy is coming from above to us, so we actually get the feelings of Radharani. And because it's an exchange, like you said, she is also missing our seva. So we can feel also that actually she is missing us. And usually it's like this, when the mother is missing the child, the child feels that, and the child then misses the mother. Whoever is mother or father, they know that. This is the response. Unseen. You can just feel it. So we could also say, Oh Radha, when will tears of love stream from my eyes? When I'm crying after you. When will my voice choke up? My body will start it with ghost pimples of ecstasy. And when I will loudly cry out your name, like Sri Raguna did at Radakund. Because this would be the consequence. in our mood, when we want to rent seva, but we are bereft from that. But this is not any knowledge I'm talking about. This is a feeling. So Srila Kaviraj Goswami explained in this verse as follow. Again, great eagerness and humility appeared in the Lord's heart as he prayed to Krishna. Let me sing your name with love. Radhe 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 Gorwani bhaiya Radhe 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 my obeisances and my loving hugs mm, so beautiful gurudev is uh, so inspired and we're sitting next to him and uh, there was this question like this verse you know when my when i will sing when will my body tremble this is for us in, in Sadak Deha Gurudev, this meditation? No. This one is a six number. Number six, yes. So what is this? Nayanam Garada Sudhareya. So it is six number. Oh, a panch. Panch number. No, no. Na Sundarin, this is four. Yeah. Four. Four. With up to seven. Is in Sadak they have Siksha Sakam. Siksha Sakam is only teaching in Sadak they have. I don't need Dhanam. No need Janam. And no, no Sundari. 
शिक्षाष्टकम साधक देहा वॉट इज सच माई फ्रीज ओनली सुंदर इज सच इज शिक्षाष्टकम फोर्थ फाइव सिक्स इवन द सेवन इज ए शिक्षाष्टकम शिक्षाष्टकम टीचिंग टू द बॉडी लिख कॉन्सियस पीपल so i am answering the question of radha charan ji why he say sundari this is our problem we not go into in our sarupa because we attract with the sundaris may <laughs> to be identify to live in material identity and then false ego catch and we are we we start making the projects from material world so we are blocked so we don't want to enter in our sarupa which <coughs> so mahaprabhu what say what is the slow na dhanam na janam na sundari sundari na sundari ha kavita no try i want to be a poet not a famous poet nothing no fame no name kavitam va jagadisha kamaye ah kamaye what useful to the service of jagdish ah huh? लास्ट वन इज इज इन गोपी मंजरी वा लंपटम हु कैन से लंपट साधक ने कैनॉट से विदाउट गोपी भाव टू कृष्णा टू लंपट लंपट मीन वुमेनाइज लंपट आनंद दास बाबा जी एक्सप्रेशन से ये क्लियरली से is all sadak deha and if sadak deha we are not careful we don't go to the siddha deha we engage outside in outer activities right or not under prescription this is the point and na dhanam i don't want money for my my anything what is my requirement janam i no need any big audience i not sundari no interested in the beautiful ladies they are all my mother yeah So what I need to do only prema, only prema. The service of Radha Rani. Yeah, they are to be bhakti, not even prema, bhakti, devotion, love in action. What can bring out to me? that is no desire mm. how i know i'm out desire then i'm out <laughs> any of this desire is there i'm out oh my god <laughs> i'm out totally out <laughs> totally out <laughs> any of this desire come to come in go out you remember i'm not the not dhanam Na janam, na janam, no, no population, no followers, power to show. Then sundari, when power coming, in that sundari is coming, beautiful ladies coming. 
respectful like a mother. If you want to enter in the bhakti, prema bhakti, no bhakti only. <laughs> One time we were there, there was a devotee in Germany mm -hmm. and that time you, you had you were wearing a other color and your nature was you know to give everybody an embrace and then she said Sadhu Maharaj Yasi you cannot hug me the guru said no worries you're my mother I'm your son <laughs> this was your approach but we have to see that have to see I'm your child. What is meaning of Gopi Bhav? Gopi Bhav is a sannyas mantra. Yeah. So Gopi Bhav means out of body. If you are in body, then you are not fit to wear this. Yeah. You are in your material body consciousness, you are not fit. Why white? Any black spot can come here. Immediately. White immediately. You cannot hide black spot here, any spot in white. You have to care. Black spot means my mistake. So Babaji are wearing black, white, not black. Careful with the, any black spot. Any wrong activity. So now it looks very clearly. What is meaning of Sundari, not Radharani? She is also Sundari, but a divine Sundari. <laughs> and in Sadak they have is such material Sundari, who has a body, who has a beauty in the face, who has a slim body, who has a... <laughs> you cannot say the all description of that Sundari. Only you can explain about her Radha Radhi Sundari because he is a divine Sundari. But then you explain the breast of Radhika. Why? Because she is divine Sundari. I know any material condition is there. No, no, any gunas are there. Out of gunas. But you cannot explain the Sundari of material is the offensive. If you not see like a mother to them, it's the offense. Then we involve in this. Beautiful girls on the and life go on and on. Then comes our family, my husband and my wife. They are not Sundari. They are life partners. Life partner means to serve, but it's very personal thing to serve. Oh, no, everyone can serve that. That service we do. That is the life part. It's not Sundari. She is a Patni. This is the life part. My material requirements, she will be balanced to me. That is meaning of Sundari. So Patni is Sundari for the service, because of the service. 
See the Mahaprabhu time all was a Pangirasta. Semiani Sanyasi is then. At the time of Mahaprabhu, now you make sannyasi, but they are grasta, they are not brahmachari. Grasta brahmachari. They are grasta. They have a children, they are living normal life. They have a small job, they can't do that. You see the Sriva Sangha. Who, who was there? Sriva's wife was there. Madani Devi. My son. Son. Children are there. She the Advaita Chas, she has also wife. She Tamu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has also one or two wives. And why? Mahaprabhu, the love of Vishnu Priya makes him so much he was loving. So much loving. <coughs> Vishnu Priya and Mahaprabhu is loving to Vishnu Priya. So much unexpected. Then Vishnu Priya say, if you give love to others, their will, life will change. He say, you telling, you telling, you telling. Three times she asked to Vishnu Priya and Mahaprabhu. Vishnu Priya say, I want this you to. She said that she is committed to execute and distribute this. Mm -hmm. This is the point. This is the purity. If you permit me, I will do that. <laughs> Then after that, Vishnu Priya was worried that Mahaprabhu will leave me. I, I say yes for that. He is sleeping with catching hand, Vishnu Priya to Mahaprabhu. And one day he escaped out because he has to fulfill the desire of Vishnu Priya. This is Tata. When he took sannyas, he come to see mother, then he is walking and he is as a sleeper, wooden sleeper. And when he sees or cover face of Vishnu Priya and he understands that is a Vishnu Priya, then he can leave his sleepers and he was to whom he gives sleeper to Vishnu Priya. Without face he she knows of Vishnu Priya. She is my Vishnu Priya. Still there's this wooden sleeper of Mahaprabhu is in Vishnu Priya temple. Yeah. In my Navati. So that Sundari means who is living in the body consciousness and whose mind is out for the Sundari searching new new girls for them. Not Anam, not Janam, not Sundari. Not name and fame, Kavitam. I not want to be a bigger person that to become famous on this. Not, sorry. Thank you. You see that uh, Chaitanya Ma this Sikshastakam in Anandas Babaji explanation. 
beautifully explained. Well, So, Guru Dev, we can also say that Sundarim, or this word, is generally spotting on the material beauty. So, I'm I'm not finding anything beauty in this material world. Goravani, did you ask a question? Because we lost you for a few seconds. Could you repeat? Yes, I was asking if Sundarim, this word, could also dot on anything beautiful in this material world. Our, this, our, our goal is in the, only to live in material world. <laughs> Are A nahi to B, B nahi to C. This is our consciousness. This is material body ego consciousness. We are not satisfied with the suffering. We want to more suffer. Okay. <laughs> this is the process. <laughs> We are not satisfied with this suffering. I need more suffering. Yes, <laughs> is I want to fresh suffering. Is tired with the old suffering is not tasteful to me. Well, then why I want to swim only in the stinky pond? <laughs> this is the nobody understands. This is a stinky pond. The day you will start smelling the stinky the smell of this plastic body and a stinky place, whole stinky world is there and you clean and clean and it's never clean. Understand? I want to go to toilet and I want to clean outside and inside. I think it's not clean. I just accept that it is clean. It's not clean, it's all there. How much my hand goes, I clean it, but it's dirty. I go to pee, I want to clean, but it's not clean. And I want to smell, it's so dirty, I cannot say you. I know I, I avoid to say that because we are we are we are interested in this stinky flavor. We are not as interested in the rather runny flavor. How I will the spiritual bhakti will grow? I like to be in a stinky flavor. I don't want to smell and live in that smell. Are when the eyes will open, yeah. <laughs> you all is thinking. Make the any good flavor from that, I will guarantee you from both sides. It's a malak, a sudra. Sudra can house things better under the neighbor. When you have indigestion or something, they say smell than neighbor. And the really stinky start from there. You smell? And they say, if you smell this navel, you will digest. <laughs> you see? So the, from the navel onwards, it is stinky. Highest is stinky place. Upper side is stinky. 
any any corner is this thing you take it out from something and wash hand you take out from air wash hand so this body is full of stinky <laughs> full of garbage and we are running for garbage Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Radhe. In the short word, Mahaprabhu says, Na Dhanam, Na Janam, Na Sundari. And no, no. Kavita, no poem. I am not one to be big poet to attract all of the living persons. No, no. I don't want to be a famous person. I want to be your Bhagata. Small. Only your bhakti, my save your bhakti. I'm not qualified to be in my sarup even. The Mahaprabhu is Sikchastaka, means not for himself. He is teaching for us. Only he teach eight words. It is loka for coming his followers. It's like formulas, no? This is the formula he is giving. Apply, like in, it's like sa applied science. If you apply, it will work. If you not apply, <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> if you not apply, okay. And see the last one. What is the last one? What is it? Ashli Shiva Padaratam Pinas. Ashli Shiva Padaratam Pinas yeah. You see, you open, uh, if you have a Anandas Bhavaji, this is your your spiritual form. You can say without this material form, you cannot say Krishna Lamb, but <laughs> then you are not a wrong person. <laughs> So, Lampato, Lampato. Explanation is Anantas Bhagavad book. Read that. I have no book here. Basement, yeah. You know that? Yeah, not. On my book club. Basement. Book club. Huh? Basement. You can see our bring from one. Read something. There is a is a coming out of material. Goravali, you can you read yes. the comment? Sri Radha said Krishna may embrace this girl who is devoted to his lotus feet, or he may break her heart by not showing himself to her. He can do whatever he wants. He is, after all, an independent womanizer. Who can say? Who can say this? Radha Rani can say. Read again this line. Sri Radha said, Krishna may embrace this girl. Ah, Krishna may embrace this girl. He's a womanizer. Yeah. Independent womanizer. Independent. He's so many of them. 
He is catching the only womanizer. And we want to be a womanizer. We don't want to see this womanizer. How beautiful womanizer is this? <laughs> Not this, that he is the Adi Purusham. And we want to be a Krishna, to be a womanizer. And we want to live with material work to more funny suffering life. Independently suffering. Yeah, independently suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Never ask someone to come out from the suffering. And I'm not happy with one suffering. I want to change the suffering, more higher suffering I need. <laughs> the suffering is not satisfying me. <laughs> Honestly, I say <laughs> How I will see womanizer when I'm a womanizer. I want to be womanizer. I want to be a maybe womanizer for female, something else. But I want to be in that way. I don't want to leave my material consciousness and my ego and material enjoyment. And a woman either, why say? Because when I'm in the bodily consciousness, we are male. If I'm female, is a female want to, uh, uh, no female, they are also male. They are not satisfied with this. Woman, uh, one, they want to change it. Male and female, same are this. Male, male consciousness is body consciousness. At Krishna is male, yeah? When I become male. We not come to the reality of my female consciousness that we are soul. We want to compete with Krishna. <laughs> this is the fact. Real woman either is nothing than me. I'm more than you are enemy of Krishna. Yeah. <laughs> if you have this competition. <laughs> Then why you inspire to the boys? I have no life without no knowledge without college and no understanding of life without wife. If you not to suffer one time, how you will understand what is the meaning of suffering? So once you suffer, then you realize this suffering is good for you, then more create suffering. That's why. <laughs> Parampara of suffering. Parampara of suffering. India also is Western world come to India also. It's not in the European world, it's American world enter in India. This suffering creation. <laughs> Right. So, okay, we are born this experience. So, experience. if I understand right, Radharani is actually telling us here, as long as you try to be a little Krishna, independent also in this material world, you try to be a male, as long as you are trying this, you will suffer. That's why I am saying, I don't want to have anything of this. I don't see anything beauty in this material world. 
I don't want to be a sannyasi. I don't want to be anything else, but just a das anudas anudas. And in this way, he's giving us hint what we should do. We should not follow this blue boy. We should follow actually the dasis. That's why das anudas anudas. Is this the right understanding, Gurudev? Because children try to imitate actually the parents usually. They try to be the father or try to be the mother. So the mother is telling us, don't try to copy your father. He is a womanizer. <laughs> So because Radharani is the purest Dasi, the one which is proved by Bhagavatam, actually. She is described in Bhagavatam as the most purest Dasi. So then it would be good if we try to follow her path. And that means we have to accept the mood of female. As I understand, Gurudev is trying to give us this point again and again and again since so many years. That is soul consciousness. This is the out of my body, the identification. That is my soul. And soul, when it realizes practicing, I will practice this with the super soul. This is then Marsi Krishna will assign. I assign with Krishna Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita. Then I will practice this the Krishna assignment. Then slowly and what is the line? And study. It's slow and steady. Ultimate goal. Then we will reach the ultimate goal in the lotus feet of my Sarup and Manjiri Radha Dasya. But assignment will happen with my soul consciousness to super soul. This practice not, then I have the but ego will dance on me and I will dance in the order of false ego. Then nothing is important for me. No teaching is important, no bhakti is important, nothing is important. I create one special goal in my life. <laughs> And that's the Maya. And Gurudev, isn't that the distinction also between Radharani and Krishna? Krishna is independent, but Radharani is not. She's completely dependent because she loves so much and wants to serve. Krishna is a womanizer, <laughs> but she the Radhika's love. He said, you he is mine. If he's a womanizer, no business. His teaching starts from here. Uh, he is mine. Chandravali followers then say, I'm his. Then he has to take care of me. This is Chandravali group say. I am his wife, I am his partner. He has to care me. If he not do this way, then I am not his wife. This is Chandravali. 
He said, okay, you are a womanizer for me, it's okay, because you are mine. I like that you are a womanizer. I'm all, all the expansion, they are my expansion. They are not outside than me. So I never, I feel from them your feelings. Thank you, Krishna. You make me happy from all corners. This is the love we are. This is Radha Dasi. We say we are Radha Dasi, but we are Chandravali Dasi. But <laughs> we are Badi Das. We are Ego Das. <laughs> This is our problem. This is my problem, I say you, I don't say to others. I suffer, my dear. I was servant of Chandravati. Now by your all of your mercy, I try to become Radha Das. My life is changing here. You don't do this mistake here. Radhe. Go, read more. Krishna may embrace this girl Open fan, yeah, I'm <laughs> who is devoted to his lotus feet or he may break her heart by not showing himself to her. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he come or not come, but he's nice, sad he is, after all, an independent womanizer. <laughs> but still, and no one else, is the Lord of my life. my my, you are mine. Do what you like. I'm happy with all your happiness. This is beginning of us. When the Lord recited the previous verse, Yugaitam Nimeshena, in the mood of Virahini Rai, Oh, no. Radha, who is separated from Krishna. He became agitated with sanjari baths. Like <laughs> so her sty bath was influenced by envy. Yeah. Eagerness, yeah. humility. Yeah. Because uh, when we come inside, then, then uh, she is Sanchari. Her five hours is moving now. You see that? Radharani. If we see them, we Sanjari Bhav. What about us? We keep the MB inside my pocket and I will be a thigh. A thigh means fixed. More trouble I create for my life. But Gurudev Radharani, envy, could you give an example, please? 
अरे एमबी मीन्स वोमनाइजर थिंकिंग ऑफ वोमनाइजर इज एम्बीनेस वाई शी इज गिविंग एग्जाम्पल दैट मेक मी संचारी नो वॉन्ट टू ड्रीम इट इवेन रीड अगेन दिस लाइन आई <laughs> When the Lord recited the previous verse in the mood of Virhar Virahini Rai, by Vira, Vira that she is an womanizer with other, then she has a sanchari law. <laughs> yes, go on. He became What? agitated with the sanctuary bhavas like envy, <laughs> eagerness, humility, and so on. <laughs> Then, in the mood of Radha, he revealed his feelings to her girlfriends. Shila Kaviraj Goswami part described how the lord explained this Krishna doesn't care about me anymore and he is testing me All my girlfriends saying just reject Krishna When these thoughts came up in Radha's pure heart her natural love for Krishna arose envy eagerness enthusiasm and great humility all these moods then arose simultaneously these thoughts made radha's mind unsteady so she spoke this elevated verse to her girlfriends in that mood the lord spoke this verse and as he did so he felt just like shri radha now there will follow an example one day Krishna showed indifference towards Sri Radha just to test her love and he did not go to see her anymore when Radha's girlfriends came to tell him how much she was suffering because of that he pretended not to care although he felt great hartek when he heard it shri rata had become very unsteady because of her being separated from krishna but her girlfriends knew very well that krishna was simply pretending to be indifferent to her therefore they consoled her by saying radhe you are prema mai it is not possible for krishna to actually give you up he is only pretending wanting to witness 
your anxiety over him. <coughs> if you also showed such indifference towards him, then he wouldn't be able to stay calm and he would personally come to see you. Hearing these words from her girlfriends, Rata felt her natural desire to make Krishna happy coming up in her heart. <laughs> the definition of this natural love was given by Sri Rupa Goswami in his Vadak Vidakta Madhava Natakam 5.4. So he can, she came in Sanjayadeva. It's not his Ashtayadeva. Only for the happiness of Krishna he do. He do. How to make happy to Krishna? Good morning, was coming to me over there. Why is, why is Mahaprabhu speaking this last verse of Shikshasta coming in a Sanchari Bhav? Why Sanchari Bhav is coming? And I was... My Bhav, when happiness is coming, then Sanchari comes. Mm -hmm. I is always there. Only to please Krishna, to be an angry, she will do that with Sanchari Bhav. She is totally a for the pleasure of Krishna, she get Sanchari. But Mahaprabhu could have spoken without saying he's womanizer, could have just said, oh, he's the love of my life. But because he speaks is a womanizer, so he's inviting Manjari because Mohan is a womanizer, so Manjari has to come in the picture, no, Gurudev? If he's no womanizer, why, why Manjari will be there? Without Radhika and Mahaprabhu, as you said, without Manjari, wow, it's not possible. So you are right. Like an he's a womanizer, means now I need help. Yes. <laughs> He's a big organizer. I need your help. Come to my manjari. Mm -hmm. And that time somebody help is a manjari. Yeah. Real help. Somebody give real advice also. Who is not bhakta, they will give real advice. Hypocrites will give real advice to me. But this is a real test of you. Your bhajan is going, are you going to kapoor? You want to see someone to become kapoor? You see what is happening after that. Are you Suffer, but keep the suffering, not create new suffering. It's not. You enter for suffering. And I want to break it to create new suffering. Are bhaiya, keep the suffering. Maintain it. Now create new problem, more problem in Gaviyas. You are lucky that you got it, your problem is solved. If you want to run away, you create more problems. 24 hours you have to sit in toilet, thinking for this. Try to create new mandala. No, if the if toilet is near, you, you give me. 
go and come. Why to go to uh, and if toilet is in the basement, I'm going up and I come out before reaching the place. This is happening. And sitting and giving class, I forget that I have to go to it. And it's one pressure come, I stand and I cannot control. But what is not controlled? Senses cannot control by any circumstances. Senses for everything now. But is near toilet is better, no? <laughs> that you can't immediately out. Well, we why to train new suffering? So toilet means if you have a sense pressure, you go to toilet. This is the meaning of sense pressure. Understand? Understand? Yes. Sir. You understand? Yama Gauri. <laughs> the pressure is so long, so continuous the pressure. <laughs> pressure will never go down. Till this plastic body is there. When it will go to the ass, then pressure will come. Till the plastic body is there, pressure, ego is there, pressure will be there. It cannot be finished. So be careful. This is only for your toilet to that is your pressure. Yeah. You are lucky that you have a toilet. Like mercy of devotee give me me a toilet. He said, I will not stay without toilet before what living. People, only room, no toilet. You give everyone toilet. Because without, <laughs> you cannot develop bhakti without relaxing yourself. <laughs> Your family life is your your relaxing place to be happy. Understand or not? If you want not to relax and not more to suffer than A, B, C, D, E, F. Can I just comment on that, what you said, because I remembered in some group of devotees who were very much into rules and regulations, they always had this big fight inside. They tried to fight against Maya. And in this way, they really could not relax. And in the end, I saw people 40 years trying to chant, trying to serve in so many ways. And they are really, they really invest all their time. But in the end, they failed. And I think this is a very central point you just said, because you want us to relax and you relax with the family, actually. This is so much needed to be relaxed and to give from your heart. Otherwise, if you are not relaxed, you cannot give your heart. Yeah. Relax. No fight. The fighting is the Sanchari Bhav. Radha Rani yes. says, the thing to come to the fight to think and uh, be with Krishna is Sanchari Bhav. You are not an Asa, you are done. You are jumping. You cannot fix yourself. You cannot peaceful. Sanchari means no peaceful. <laughs> 
And we had really so much examples from that. I remember one guy, he was there in the temple completely giving himself for two months, standing up in the morning, everything, what, what you do in a temple, following all these rules and all. And then after two, two or three months, he was gone. And then I saw him, I saw him in uh, Hauptbahnhof trail station. And he was taking the most heavy trucks. So from here to there, again and again, this is really happening all the time. So it's so much needed that we are actually in the middle and we are relaxed. <coughs> I can see this. This is actually one of the the, the most greatest points of Gurudev that even though he was growing up in this uh, most religious foundation, Dharma foundation, he is actually giving us all this freedom and peace we need to practice this, especially with the mind of Western people. I can say for myself. So this is the mercy of Radharani coming to us, actually. Hearing these words of her girlfriends, Sri Radha's natural feelings of love awoke, and she became simultaneously eager, enthusiastic, jealous, and humble. And as these feelings or sundry bhavas clashed within her, She spoke this Ashlishya Va Padaratam verse to her friends. Sriman Mahaprabhu, who had accepted the feelings of Sri Rata, also thought, uh, thought that his girlfriends came to console him with their advice. As the Lord perceived the feelings of Sri Rata, all the Sanjari Bhavas simultaneously arose in his heart, and then he recited this verse that was originally spoken by Sri Radha. There is a very deep meaning to this Ashlishyava Padaratam verse, which the Lord's final instruction and the explanation is very extensive. Srila Kaviraj Goswami has personally written The explanation of this verse is very, very elaborate. I will speak it in short, because I also cannot find the limits to it. In some editions of Chaitanya Charit Amrita, this Bengali verse cannot be found. 
In this case, it must be understood that the Lord personally relished the Tripadis, the Bengali song explanations that follow the Sanskrit Ashlishyava Padaratam verse. And in those editions in which this verse is to be found, it must be understood that Srila Kaviraj Goswami revealed the feelings of the Lord. But anyway, whether the Lord personally relished the meanings of this verse through these three parties or Kaviraj Goswami part revealed the Lord's feelings, we will try to relish the explanation of this verse more extensively than the previous verses. It will be very difficult for anyone, however, to take the meaning of this verse to heart without first hearing something about the Samartha Rati, the competent love or Mahabhav of the gopis. <laughs> Brahma drives on the desire to make Krishna happy. And the deeper this desire is, the more it will make even the most subtle desire for personal happiness disappear. <laughs> No one knows so well how to devote all of one's desires to the purpose of making Krishna happy other than the Gopikas. Their Samartarati is so intense that they forget everything else except the thoughts of how to make Krishna happy. Samartha Sarva Mishmari Ganda Santrata Mahamattaha Utshvala Nilamani. One thing I want to say. Why Samartha? Samartha means capable. Why Gopi is not Samartha? Capable. Why they are living in the soul consciousness? They are not in body. That is Samadharati. In I mean body consciousness, in ego consciousness, I am not Samad to do this. Here I am not coming to my soul consciousness. I come out from body and my ego consciousness, then we are samartha. That is Gopiva. And that is start from the soul consciousness. That rati is start from that soul. I have a rati. I have a love. That I want to live in my soul consciousness. This is the basic art. <laughs> If I am going back to my material body or my senses and ego, I am not capable for devotion. It's done for me. Samatha is only there when I am in the soul. I am Samatha, capable for that. Right or not? Think on that. In bodily consciousness, I am not summer. So, Gurudev, how to stay there in Samartha? That is the Rati. That is my love. If I want to be Samartha, capable in my Rati, Rati means. Sri Guru Charana Rati. Rati means Rati is the wife of Kamadev. You see, 
some some kamadeva come in the mind rati kamadeva not come first first come passion you become blind you don't want to see any other man is there or not it's so passionate that you don't want to know anyone is there if there are many people that passion that desire has to come that type of desire has to be rati rati means that spiritual passion has to come to live in the soul consciousness to develop my is spiritual life ya yeah. come out from religious and material suffering life i think there was some disconnection so like we said before who wants to follow krishna's example wants to be in male consciousness that's the opposite of samarthi or samartha and uh, samartha means that we try to follow radharani's mood and the one who actually understood and adopted that mood of radharani dasanudas mood so we try to follow our guru manjari because she has this mood she adopted already this mood so we try to follow that mood and connect us with that mood ah cannot be samartha in bodily consciousness to go in a spiritual rush <laughs> navigation will be wrong it will go in material way right or not yes. are you have to come out here <laughs> you are have to be samartha you have to be capable for that and go in rati that madness passionness for the spiritual life right or not yes. that passion we need sri guru charana rati why rati rati why he use here are madness not come in guru charan i ignore his word Well, this guy he will not understand. <laughs> This is our problem. <laughs> Samartha, sorry, my small knowledge and intelligence are reached like this. Maybe some higher Ananda Baba Ji works here. So. This Samartha Rati makes the gopis give up their homes, family members, oh, family traditions. Yeah, yeah. that is village house. Yeah, I always say, come to the city home to village home. When now one is home, that. This Samartha Rati makes the gopis give up their homes, family members, yeah, family traditions, patience, shame, 
and everything for the purpose of making Krishna happy. Right? Soul can do what? Super soul. And this is Samas has come only with the soul also. And that is Gopi Bhav. Ah, yes. Practice in our life with Gopi Bhav. And that soul is Gopi, but he is not Gopi, but he cannot be a Gopi. His spiritual body will become Gopi. That soul body will become Gopi, and soul body can be a manjil. There are Samartha. It is to be known here that Madhura Rati means nothing else but some book echa or the desire of a hero and a heroine to meet each other. There are two kinds of some book echa. The first, the desire to have one's own senses pleased by the lover. The second, the desire to please the lover with one's senses. Radhe, Radhe, see the Vilap Kusumajiti is seen. Sanbhog Atmika, Tattad Bhav Chamit. But the Manjari has Bhav Lasya. Go on. This is Gopis and Saki. Go on. The first kind is named Kama or Lust. The second kind is called Rati, Brema or Love. Samartha Rati has become totally identical with this second kind of Rati. That's why it has attained the nature of Sri Krishna Anukulya Tatparya. Dedication to anything favorable to Sri Krishna. And Sri Krishnon Mukata, turning towards Sri Krishna. Sri Rupa Goswami states in his Uchvalani Lamani Samartha Rati is never separate from Sambhok Echa. Therefore, in there is only a Therefore, in it, there is only a desire to make Krishna happy. When this Samartha Rati increases, it reaches the stage of Mahabhav. Only the beautiful girls of Braj possess this opulence of Mahabhav. What to speak of other concerts? Even Rukmini, Satyabhama and other queens of Krishna do not have it. 
Such is the teaching of Sri Rupa Goswami in Ujjwala Nilamani. <laughs> This Mahabhav is like the greatest nectar, bringing the mind back to its constitutional position. That that you see, Prabhupada was here, constitutional salute. Till we are in Gopi Bhav, we have a Sambhu Asana. Till I not come to your conception of Go on. Srila Vishwana Chakravati comments as follows on this verse in his Ananda Chandrika commentary. The meaning of this verse, verse, the gopis' minds attain the constitutional position of Mahabhav, is that their minds are composed of Mahabhav. And other than Mahabhav, nothing exists in them. Uh, nothing like this. No other project. The senses, like the eyes, the ears, etc., are all extensions of the mind. Therefore, the gopis' ten senses are also composed of Mahabhav. All their activities are meant to give pleasure to Krishna, and therefore Krishna is controlled by their love the most. The duty of Mahabhav is to make Krishna happy. Therefore, the object of the gopis' minds and senses is nothing else but that. Once upon a time, Trona Acharya Mahashaya tested the skill at arms of the Korova youngsters headed by Duryodhana and the Pandava youngsters headed by Arjuna, ordering them to pierce the right eye of a bird that was sitting on the bird. So Drona Acharya asked him, Oh boy, how are you able to pierce this target? which was impossible to reach for the other boys so easily. Arjuna answered, O Gurudev, when I aimed at my target, I first of all selected this particular tree from amongst all the other trees, and after that, I selected the branch where the bird was sitting from all other branches. But even then, I did not release my arrow. Even when I saw only this one particular bird, I did not release my arrow. Finally, I aimed only that right eye of the bird. Nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> Only when I saw nothing else before me anymore but the bird's eye, I released my arrow. 
By being so fixed on my aim, I have become so successful. In the same way, the Brachasundaris are exclusively fixed in giving pleasure to Sri Krishna. Se Gopi Gana Matje Uttama Radhika Rupe Gune Sobakye Preme Sarvadika. Amongst the Gopis, Radhika is supreme. Her beauty, her qualities, her good fortune, and her love are the greatest of all. Srila Chiva Goswami writes in his Krishna Sandarbha, Sri Radhika comes forth from the essential part of all the sweetest and most loving gopis, and she possesses the limit of the divine love called Madan Mahabhav. The scriptures and the saints confirm this. So can we say, Gurudev, that before we release all our uh, feelings of serving someone, we have to aim the goal and just see the lotus feet of Radha or the lotus feet of Guru Manjari to be successful like Arjuna? Right, huh? but what is divinity? When is the dev become divine, then all this become divine. All by Krama become, you see your Ishta Dev in all the wings. He become enlightened everywhere. There is no any particle where not is a Vishambara. He everywhere is. But yesterday, but without practicing Gopi Bhav means to in the soul consciousness, this divinity will not come. We have to sign with Krishna, a sign with Krishna. And that is Madhanak Mahabhav. Mahabhav connection must be there to Gopi. Then they can, this is all my clear position come. Not Madhanak Mahabhav, but Mahabhav position touch. And that is Radha expansion. All the gopis are Radha expansion because of that. She gives that vision, Radhi, Radhi, Radha Rani, to even the gopi who is developed the soul consciousness. And Sarup, then when she gives the, then Sarup appears, confusional position. Without her mercy, I cannot be normal. Impossible. 
Prabhupada's last line in Bhagavad Gita, 